If only these were fictional. It's the apocalypse, end of days, the judgment day, the end of the world, my friend. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways the world might end in the next 100 years. It's a bit complicated, <laughs> so it will take some time, so I hope you will bear with me. Number 10, Geomagnetic Reversal. There are no certainties in life, but you can always trust North and South. Except, the Earth's weakening magnetic field means we could be in the first phases of a geomagnetic reversal, where the poles actually flip. Doomsayers theorize it'll cause shifting continents, solar storm vulnerability, accelerated climate change, and mass extinctions. Scientists say no way, it's happened before and the Earth survived. But they do admit it'd disrupt technology something fierce. Everything within 30 degrees north and south of the equator is going to fall into complete darkness. The temperature is going to drop to a negative 273 degrees Celsius. That is absolute zero. Nothing will survive. Nothing! Well, uh, thank you for your opinion, uh, Dr. Kotsman. Kotsman. Thank you. Number nine. A gamma ray burst. Must be a hell of a light show. Supernovas are some of the universe's strongest explosions, and they discharge high-frequency electromagnetic radiation known as gamma ray bursts, which sound pretty deadly to us. But don't worry, for Earth to be impacted, the supernova would have to be pretty close and aimed just right. Better hope the sun doesn't explode, though. Then we're talking destroyed atmosphere, fires, and acid rain type stuff. Number eight, a black hole. This is going out not with a bang, but a whimper. Floating around the Milky Way are thousands of black holes, and any one could swallow everything in its path without warning. Then there are the theories about man-made black holes, courtesy of the Large Hadron Collider. Professor Frank will now throw a switch, which will either answer certain obscure questions of subatomic physics, or destroy the universe. Oh my god, particle. What might being sucked through a black hole be like? Think eternal winter in outer space, or just plain nothingness. <laughs> Number seven, a biotech disaster. Biotechnology is a nice way of saying messing with genetics. We are now seeing the beginnings of another stage of human evolution. Yes, it can potentially end world hunger and eradicate disease, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Biotechnology also lets us customize our kids, clone people, and basically screw evolution. Dolly is the name of the first mammal, yes, a sheep, ever to be born as the result of cloning. Ethical issues aside, imagine a race of superhumans so advanced they eliminate us. Or X-Men and zombie mutations. Or what if we bring dinosaurs back? Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Wow. Number six, climate change. Climate change or global warming, man-made or natural, doesn't matter. There's no denying its repercussions on the planet. Rising temperatures, droughts, extreme weather, diminishing air quality, and dwindling natural resources are just the tip of the melting iceberg. It could even cause the next ice age. Well, what can we do about this? Head as far south as possible. Some say climate change is the most urgent threat facing humanity, and we're running out of time to stop it. Number five, supervolcano. This is not good, this is not good. A supervolcano is just what it sounds like. Bigger, stronger, and much more devastating than a regular volcano, because when one goes, all supervolcanoes worldwide go. Let's get out of here! But it's not like they're everywhere. Oh wait, does Yellowstone sound familiar? Lava flows and sulfuric acid would be bad, but the debris emitted by an eruption could block the sun and cause a big freeze. But it's rare, so there's that. Oh, God. Don't look back, kids. Don't look back. Number four, asteroid. Could this really end all life on Earth? Ask the dinosaurs. Ben, turn on the TV, there's an asteroid coming right at us. A big enough asteroid impact would eclipse the devastation of a nuclear blast, and the chances of it happening aren't as slim as you'd think. Scientists have found asteroids that'll pass scary close to Earth in our lifetime, but claim they won't hit, unless something changes. 
However, it's the ones they haven't found yet that are scarier. What kind of damage are we? Damage? Total, sir. Number three, artificial intelligence and nanotechnology. Come on, Bender. It's up to you to make your own decisions in life. That's what separates people and robots from animals and animal robots. Unless you're some survivalist nut job, computers and technology significantly impact your life. So what happens when computers surpass human intelligence, become self-aware, and decide to take over? Return to your home immediately. When you make the rules, robot. Hey, no, 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 robot can talk to me, man. Stop this. We predict a Terminator slash Matrix mashup with lots of Apple products. No. I don't believe it. Worst case scenario? Grey goo. You know, where molecular nanotechnology goes haywire and robots self-replicate until they devour everything on Earth? So that's fun. I, for one, welcome our new computer <laughs> overlord. <laughs> Number two, pandemic or biological warfare. It's a threat of biblical proportions. What do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Pandemics like the plague and H1N1 spread through humans like wildfire. The 1918 flu outbreak killed three to five percent of the world's population. Today, we have the added bonus of drug-resistant bacteria. If nature doesn't kill us, we might do it ourselves. But then you said to me, wouldn't it be great if there was a germ or a virus that would wipe out all of mankind, no. like the animals no. from the trees? That no, was so you're just trying funny, to confuse man. me. Yeah. So funny. Biological warfare and weaponized viruses like anthrax or Ebola are real threats too. Maybe you'll be one of the lucky few who's immune. Number one. Nuclear Holocaust. We've always talked about the possibility of something going wrong with the bomb. The bomb, Dimitri. The hydrogen bomb. The Cold War may be over, but nuclear annihilation is still a threat. For more information, see Iran or North Korea. At the touch of a button, humanity could be crushed. Dimitri, there's no point in you getting hysterical at a moment like this. Not to mention the fallout, contaminated food, water, and air quality, and worse yet, nuclear winter. Consider this, nuclear war could easily be caused by a misunderstanding. But we've been in this boat for decades, so sleep easy. You maniacs! You blew it up! Which potential future keeps you up at night? Nothing will survive, nothing! Do you agree with our list, or do you think some new threat will end humanity? Damn you all to hell! For more informative top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.